Control minus 12 minutes. MAQ, initiate retract data logger just prior to the L7 pull. Roger. After liftoff, the Delta IV Heavy will head east from Space Launch Complex 37. Here's a look at today's ascent. To mitigate the fireball created by the hydrogen-burning Delta IV Heavy rocket, the staggered engine start sequence begins with ignition of the launch table HBOs, burning off the excess hydrogen injected into the flame duct. Next, the starboard Delta IV Rofi lights igniting its RS-68A engine. Then, the center and port RS-68A engines ignite to generate more than 2.1 million pounds of total thrust to lift the 1.6 million pound triple core rocket off the pad. Shortly after liftoff, Delta begins a pitch over to attain the proper flight path while minimizing the pressure the vehicle experiences during flight. Delta then reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound, followed by the rocket reaching maximum dynamic pressure as it travels through Earth's atmosphere. With propellant depleted in the port and starboard boosters, the engines shut down and the boosters jettison to shed their weight. The remaining booster engine then throttles to full power to maximize performance against gravity losses. Once propellant levels deplete in the center booster, the engine shuts down and the booster is jettisoned from the second stage. The vehicle now weighs approximately 6% of what it did at liftoff. Following jettison of the center booster, the Delta Cryogenic Second Stage, or DCSS, main engine ignites. During ascent, NROL-70 is protected inside a 5-meter diameter metallic payload fairing. After traveling through the densest part of Earth's atmosphere, the payload fairing is jettisoned. The Delta IV cryogenic second stage carries the last payload to launch on a Delta IV rocket to its final orbital destination, where it will begin its national security mission. As we can continue the countdown to launch, let's head over to Ben Chilton on the NASA Causeway. of ULA friends and family excited to witness the last liftoff of this magnificent rocket. I'm approximately three miles from Slick 37, and when we reach T0, it will take about 15 seconds for the sound to reach us, though we'll already have seen Delta lift off the pad. From where I'm standing, it's a little windy at the moment, but I'll pass it off to Space Launch Delta 45 Weather Officer Arlena Moses for today's weather forecast. Thanks, Ben. As you mentioned, it is a little breezy out there this afternoon, and that's going to be our main weather watch item for our launch today. If you were out earlier, we no you did notice that we had some showers kind of push through about an hour or so ago. Those are well to the south. Don't expect those, any more showers or concerns with that. So our main concern will be our breezy conditions coming from the northwest as we see behind kind of the showers in front that pushed through earlier. Currently across the, uh, the area, we're seeing gusts into the 20s. And if we look at the forecast going forward through our current T0 today, we are looking at a probability of seeing weather violations of 70%, with our main concern being those ground winds, as we can see here with some of our gusts across the area. But we are looking at sustained winds ticking up just a bit here over the next few minutes, uh, kind of coming up into that 20 to 30 knot range. So continuing out of the northwest, temperature is about 72 degrees, and hopefully we'll be able to keep those winds down just enough that we'll be able to see the launch of our Delta IV Heavy this afternoon. Back to you, Andrea. We remain in the planned hold as we continue towards liftoff. In a few moments, launch conductor Scott Barney will pull the launch team for the final go to pick up the count. 28 engineers and managers are pulled for system status and readiness to proceed. This is the final status check for all Delta vehicle systems, ground systems, spacecraft, and the U.S. Space Force Eastern Range. The vehicle system readiness pull includes electrical systems, hydraulics, pneumatics, propulsion systems, and flight control, and propellants. Let's listen in as Scott Barney performs the final pulling.
How many seven minutes? Status check to proceed with terminal count. First aid system. Propulsion. Go. Hydraulics. Go. Locks. Go. LH2. Go. Second stage system. Locks. Go. LH2. Go. Electrical systems. Airborne. Go. Ground. Go. Facility. Go. RFFTS. Go. Flight control. Go. Com. Go. GCQ. Go. Operation support. Go. Pneumatics. Go. Umbilicals. Go. Hazgas. Go. DCS. Go. Red Lock Monitor. Go. Mechanical Engineering. Go. Quality. Go. Op Safety Manager. Go. Delay Safety Officer. Go. Vehicle System Engineer. Go. Anomaly Chief. Go. Range Coordinator. Clear to proceed. Launch Director. Launch Vehicle is ready to launch. Mission Director. You have permission to launch. Proceeding with the count. ALC Verify T0 is set for 1845-000. Verified. MAQ establish swing on lock pins pull. Active. Pulling is complete and the team is go for launch. From T minus four minutes until liftoff, you'll hear Scott Barney and the team performing the final steps in the countdown procedure. Several critical activities occur in the final minutes before launch, including verifying fuel tank levels and pressures in the three boosters and the DCSS, in addition to arming the flight termination system. At T minus one minute, the range operations commander confirms the range is in a green condition for launch. At T minus 15 seconds, the launch table HBOs at the base of the rocket are ignited to burn off excess hydrogen. hydrogen. At T minus seven seconds, the starboard engine is ignited. At T minus five seconds, the port and center engines are ignited. Once the Delta IV Heavy lifts off, you'll hear flight commentator Rob Gannon providing launch vehicle ascent data. This is Delta Mission Control at T minus four minutes in holding. We anticipate releasing the hold in just a few moments. T minus four minutes and counting. Hold, hold, hold. This is flight control. We have a CCLS red line fault at T minus three minutes and 58 seconds. LC switch not ready. All personnel go to recycle steps for Operation 90. Okay, LC switch is not ready. Flight control is ready to set clock to T minus four and holding. Roger, ALC, reset countdown clock to T minus four minutes and holding. Roger. Flight control SS BAPS inactive and SCS in pre flight mode. Roger. And properly to evaluate locks, recycle, and report uh, if ready to restart. Roger. Red line that we've been. OSM, place the SRM ignition switch to disabled position. SRM ignition disabled. ALC, count. Disregard. LC, countdown clock has been reset to T minus four and holding. Roger. For step 90, all stations recycle systems back T minus four holding and configuration. Recycle occurred at T minus three minutes and 58 seconds. Report status at completion. LC, fuel one. Go fuel one. Substep golf, CBC LH2 inerting is active. Excuse me, LH2 conditioning is active. Roger. LC FTS. 
Go. Substat Juliet, MTS safe and external. Roger. LC locks two. Go. Second stage LO2 conditioning active. Roger. LC locks one. Go. CBC locks conditioning active. Roger. LC ECS. Go. ECS set point stable. Roger. LC fuel two. Go. Second stage LH2 conditioning active. Roger. LC SYS. Go. GC3 ready. Roger. LC has gas. Go. Step Foxtrot has gas ready. And as MEQ, uh, should I uh, reinstall lock pins? Yes, let's install pins. Roger. LC, AB. Go. First up, step Papa. Vehicle external. Roger. LC, Prop 101. Go. All systems are stable. Roger. LC flight control. Go flight control. Step 180, sub step kilo, flight control ready. Roger. LC MEQ. Go. Sub step Oscar, TSM and swing arm systems ready. Roger. And sub step Alpha, pneumatic. Pressures stable. Roger. LC HOE. Go. Hydraulic system stable. Roger. LC Delta Roger. Mission Control at T minus four minutes in holding. The planned hold has been extended. We will pass on more information as it becomes available. Uh, Detanking. And LD, just to confirm, we're, we're in a uh, scrub declaration for a 24-hour turnaround. Stand by for that. Roger. GELC. G. Verify TISR status for India. TISR ready. Roger. All right, team, uh, we have committed. Direction recycle is now uh, complete. We get direction to proceed into detanking. Okay, for a team, we'll be or stand by. This is Delta Mission Control. It's confirmed that we will not continue with the NROL 70 launch activities today. We have a 24-hour recycle. Our next launch attempt will be tomorrow at 1.37 p.m. Eastern. For up-to-date information, please visit ULALaunch.com. I'm Andrea Linhoff. Thanks for joining us.